Makere University has organized the Sibira annual public lecture in remembrance of his effort in acquisition of university land. This as the institution prepares to mark 100 years of its existence. Towards 10 a.m., Katikula of Buganda Charles Peter Maiga arrived and first planted a tree at Sekabaka Mtesa Museum. Katikiro Maiga implored culture institutions to always pay attention to the quality of people they train to avoid producing watered-down leaders. We are here in large part because of the wisdom, determination and foresightedness of great men and women such as Martin Luther and Sivirwa, and it is fitting that we should celebrate them. The chairperson of the University Council appreciated the lead in Sibira for his efforts in ensuring Makere gets land for expansion. They acquired land for staff housing estates in Kololo, Katalemwa, Makindye, Makere North and Waise. Such was the foresightedness of men and women like Owech Tiwa, Martin Luther and Sibirwa. And I wish to report that the reconstruction of our iconic building has commenced. The daughter to the late and severe narrated circumstances her father went through after Buganda donated land to the university. Severe being this, believing this to be in the best interest of the country, finally signed the clause on the 4th of September 1945, and he was assassinated on the morning of the 5th September near Namibia Cathedral steps as he went for morning service. And Silver lost his life, but Makere College gained a university status sooner than it could have been before he gave the land, he gave his life. The event was organized under the theme Revisiting the life of the late Katikiro Martin Ruth and Sibira in the lenses of Makere at 100. Miriam Wumcha and Andrew Sibira, BBC 